All right, so uh, we're gonna need to clean some of this up before we get to the baking stuff, just to make sure that uh, all of our naming conventions are, are respected. And I'm just gonna come in here, confirm probably nothing in any of these transforms. I'm gonna go ahead and select all of the geometry in the scene, or at least everything that's visible right now. So maybe we should do a show all. Select everything and I'm going to delete the history. So these things now have nothing connected to anything else. We can get rid of it. I'm gonna go through, grab the low stuff, control H to hide, get that camera out of there just so we don't accidentally try to export it later. Uh, and all of these, these little pieces here are that stuff in the front and they are all gonna be part of gun high. So I'm actually gonna just select gun high and then just do a shift select here. Mesh combine delete the history on it and make sure it's just regular old gun high. So what I like to do is set everything up so it's high, low, high, low, high, low. So it's real easy to see. Let's see, we've got this one that you've got a one-to-one -one for all of your components. Cool. All right. So I've already done some testing with this and I can tell you that it's actually going to generate some pretty fascinating errors, which is great because if it just worked fine, it wouldn't necessarily be all that useful for you because you may end up running into some of these errors and, and um, some of them are kind of obscure. So, uh, but before we get to that, what I want to do is talk about exporting this geometry. So generally speaking, the best practices here is that you export it as an FBX. So we're going to go to export selection. I'm going to go to the place where I'm kicking this stuff out. You can see I've got some tests in here. So I'm actually going to just clear that out real quick. One moment. All right. So um, right now it's set to FBX. I don't have anything turned on here. So it's basically just probably default, I don't know, whatever. Painter export preset, you can just pull that if you want. I don't really think it makes that much difference. Uh, there's a strange strange problem with this particular high poly geometry that I wanna kinda of outline for you that is unusual. So initially I wanna show you best practices and why it's best practices, and then we'll do what we've gotta to do to make this geo work. So anyway, I've got my gun low, I'm gonna export selection. I'm gonna go ahead and save, save scene as, go to, place it's supposed to live. I'll go ahead and save it as the start of the next one. All right, um, so now that it's saved, I'm gonna go to a new scene. I'm gonna go to import. We'll go grab that geo. Oh, where the heck is it? We're gonna import gun low. And what you can see here is exactly as I exported it out of the, the other Maya scene is how it comes in. Now, if you've got, like if I were to try to import this geometry again into the scene, because we've already got a gun low, a slot low, a slender low, and an aim low in the like the root namespace, that new geometry is not actually gonna get imported. It doesn't, it doesn't nuke your existing geo, it just doesn't import new geo over the top of it. So like if I were to go ahead and group this, and we call this like old or whatever, like hypothetically I made a change to it and import it again. Ah, see, it doesn't even like that. Um, so that's what will happen if you try to import an FBX into a scene where the component geometry already exists. So just FYI, I thought putting it in a group would help, but clearly it didn't. Um, so that can be a little bit of, of a problem. And the way that we're gonna need to do it for this project, in fact, I'm gonna do it with a high because we don't, the high poly is the, uh, the problematic stuff here. So we'll go ahead and say file, export selection. Real important, we need to change the name to high. So we're gonna need an FBX exported. And I'm gonna need that exact same thing exported as an OBJ. And this is the part that's a little bit wonky and it's kind of just specific, sorry, gun high. 
to working with this this particular set of high poly kit pass geometry it's just kind of weird and and again i'll show you in a second what that looks like so the problem with exporting your geometry as obj not that big of a deal but just so you know so here's our obj is it's going to come in with this extra little bit in front of it this, this is called the namespace where you've got the name of the obj and then kind of where it came from. So like if you have a Maya file and you import the Maya file, it's going to come in with this additional namespace information. Now, the only thing that Painter looks at is basically from the back up. So if it can find gun low to match gun high, it doesn't really, this is not going to throw it off, right? So it'll still work in Painter. It's just a little bit funky. And if you want to go ahead and, and um, kind of correct this issue, then all you got to do is go to Windows, General Editors, namespace editor will find gun high and you can delete and just hit merge with root which is basically up here and what you'll see is all this stuff goes away that is totally not necessary you should not you don't need to once you've exported your high and low geo unless you see a problem you don't need to open it up in a new my file now one of the things that you might notice about this is it doesn't have any colors on it so that's one of the problems with with working with uh, this particular set um, I don't know if OBJ, I vaguely remember OBJ being able to, it's been a long time since I've worked with OBJ. I should throw that in this caveat. Long time since I messed with it. Let's see if I turn on display colors. Really looks like it doesn't have the vertex colors on it. I could write a little code to see if, it, if it's got anything on there, but it's not really worth the trouble. Um, the good news is, if I go ahead and delete all this stuff, go to file import and grab the FBX. And high FBX, it should hopefully have the colors on it. Yeah, so the FBX is going to give us our material IDs and the OBJ is going to give us some other important information, um, which is, again, unique to this set. So what I want you to take away from this is as you, if you're working with your own high poly geometry, you just export, once your, your high, low, high, low, high, low is all set up, you just export all the high as an FBX and all the low as an FBX, and you should be good to go in Painter. So um, let's go ahead and, and uh, roll over to Painter now. I'm going to go File, New, Select, I'm going to grab Gun Low, and hit OK. Here is our Gun Low Poly, and now we need to bake our maps. So we're basically going to let Painter look at the high poly and look at the low poly, and capture the difference in the surfaces with various maps, normal map, curvature map, ambient occlusion, etc. And the way we do that is in your texture set settings. If you don't see texture set settings, just go to window, uh, views, texture set settings, it should pop up. And I'm going to go to bake mesh maps. Go ahead and actually get rid of Python console there. So I'm going to leave everything here to its default settings. I'm going to set the output size to 2048, which just means I want to bake 2K maps. I'm going to come down to where it says anti-aliasing, and uh, you should always put anti-aliasing on at least a 2x2. Two two. There's a, a huge increase in time and not necessarily a huge increase in quality. If you set that to a higher value, you know you, you can do whatever you want on that. Now, but my recommendation is 2x2 two two and see if it looks good enough, and if it does, you just saved yourself a bunch of time or zero, like none, looks terrible. So if you see like a bunch, bunch of... Uh, jaggy stuff in your in your bake, then make sure this is turned on. Um, this match here by mesh name, what this is going to do is this is going to say high, low, high, low, high, low, and it's going to say ah part A low, part A high, go ahead and match those. Um, so we just need to make sure that we change this from always to by mesh name. And then I'm going to hit uh, bake blin one mesh maps. And that's actually, this is, this is the, uh, a little mistake I just made. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what's going on here. Uh, if I go to texture set list, I have two different materials here, which is a major problem. So basically what, what's going on here is in Maya, I need to just go ahead and assign one material to everything. Uh, regard, regarding the low poly, we don't, it doesn't really matter what, what the material is on for, for the high poly. But I've got this blend one. Uh, I'll go ahead and delete that and we'll just make, we'll make a new blend I'm going to call this gun, and I'm going to, oh, it looks like that guy was sitting on blend or something. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab all of the low poly geometry, and then right click and go to assign material. So now everything is sitting on this gun material. I can go file, export selection, 
uh, we want to set this to FBX. For the low, always make it FBX. And we'll hop over to Painter, Edit, Project Configuration. We'll go ahead and reload Gun Low FBX. And now we can see we've got these two dead materials we don't need anymore. You can go to Reassign Texture Sets and just hit XX and Apply, and it will go away. And we have one material here. And where that becomes important is when I go to my Bake Mesh Maps, go back and set all this stuff again. We're going to first select Gun High FBX. And I'm going to set anti-aliasing to 2x2. Two two. And then all the rest of the, the stuff is fine. And now I just have Bake Gun Mesh Maps, and that's my only option. I will push the button. And what we're going to see is a very screwed up bake. And we're going to address why it's screwed up here in the next video. So let's just see this marvel of technical failure. We'll hit OK. That doesn't look good at all. So stay tuned for how we're going to fix it.